made it to Tulum, Mexico. We are here for a week trip. We're going to spend the first half of our trip doing a little bit of exploring, staying in the central Tulum town. They have a lot more affordable accommodations compared to the beach town. We also rented a little scooter, so we're able to zip back and forth to the, between the town to go for dinner, a little bit more affordable food, and then zip down to the beach and do little beach days and things like that. And then we're gonna spend the later half of our trip at a all-inclusive resort. So we get a little bit of adventure at the beginning and then relaxation at the end. When we first landed in Cancun airport, we took a bus called the ADO bus and that costed about 15, 20 bucks per person to get us to Tulum and the bus ride was just under two hours. That took you right from the Cancun airport and dropped you off at the Tulum bus station. And we walked our little caravan luggages to the scooter rental place and we got that picked up for about 35 Canadian dollars a day. We took the scooter over to a local grocery store and we picked up some like bananas and breakfast food items and also like bottled water because uh, you can't drink the tap water here. As soon as we got off the bus, we went to directly across the street. There was a place called Burgerita. Burgerito. They serve burgers and burritos. It was really cute. And there's like a little disco ball up in the jungle. For dinner, we went to Burrito Amor. So I was looking on TikToks for some of the like more affordable places to eat down here. That was one of them. So the burrito I think was about like 11 Canadian dollars. We're just trying to stay a little bit more affordable for the beginning of our trip. And then we have all inclusive at the end where we'll just go ham at the buffet you know? second day we're doing a beach day we'll go check out some of the beach areas we're not going to go inside the national park area because that's where you have to pay the pesos to get into there it's a little bit rainy out today so i'm trying to think of a rainy day activity to do it's not at the beach but we'll go check it out and i'll bring you guys along this is the outfit for the day it's a cute little wrap dress nice and comfortable really humid and we're just gonna go scoot around and see if we can find like any little shopping cute little stores and pick up some souvenirs The night before, we were walking around the main Tulum street and looking at souvenirs and that's when we stumbled upon the Man Cave, which is a dive shop on the main Tulum street where we booked a tour to go see Chichen Itzu the very next day. So this was a full day tour. The tour first took us to the city center of Waladad and then we went on to Chichen Itzu where we had a guide pre-arranged for our tour group who took us around the Mayan site where we were able to learn more about the Mayan culture and some more facts about the Chichen Itzu monument that we were there to see. Very, very cool to be able to see one of the ancient wonders of the world and it was very 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 hot that day so after we took a tour of the Chichen Itzu and the statue and some of the ruins around the grounds we headed over to a cenote where we were able to cool off we're on our way home from Chichen Itzu we just did the rope swing <laughs> I think I bought my lip the first time, but the second time was much better. It's really high. scooter it's gotten us around Tulum and my trusty scooter driver
for the second half of our trip, we moved over to the Hilton Tulum Riviera Maya, where we spent a couple days relaxing at this all-inclusive resort. The resort was really nice, and we spent a lot of time lounging by the pool and by the beach and enjoying all the resort amenities. Mm -hmm. 